Thank you, Ashley. Yes. Now, taking your taste buds on a journey of flavours and delights, we are joined by cocktail connoisseur Mo Zayat from the gastro pub The Orange on Pimlico Road. He specialises in the weird and unusual cocktail delicacies to accompany your evening out. And we'll be looking at some of them today in the kitchen. So, welcome, Mo. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very much. Now, you are a mixologist. Yes. What is a mixologist? Well, a mixologist is a word created by cocktail creators just to put us in a higher profile and like, give, give, give ourselves more credit for what we do. Perfect, right. So let's just start. What are you going to make for us? Is it a uh, espresso martini? Yes, that's correct. Right, if you start, that would be fantastic. Just kind of talk me through yeah, sure. what's going on and what well, you're going to be using. Ex sure. For espresso martini, we need first a uh, main spirits, which is uh, vodka, mm -hmm. Kalua, which is a uh, coffee liqueur, and uh, espresso coffee. Brilliant. And it's very easy and simple to make. So can you also explain maybe a little bit where cocktails originally came from? Well, during the preparation in the uh, uh, 1920s and 1930s in the United States, alcohol was very low. So they decided to mix different liquors and uh, to make the drinks quite bigger. So people Makes enjoy more. Yes. So what have you just poured in there? So you've had vodka. How much of vodka did you 50 have? 50ml of the vodka 50 and 25ml yeah. of the Kahlua. And you can both find these ingredients in our supermarket. Yes, and everything. yes, that's correct. And what was that? So was that coffee? That's uh, espresso coffee. It has to be espresso, yeah? Yes, that's correct. So Excellent. you get the nice thickness and of it. How did you uh, become a, a mixologist? Well, that was back in 2005 when I created my first cocktail. And I looked at it, it was, it was very successful. People loved it. So I thought, why well, don't give it a try and go on with it? Definitely. Just shaking it out there. So just a run through again of these ingredients. You gotta shake it well. Shake it well, indeed. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so just a run through again of these ingredients that you had. Yeah, sure. We got vodka, Kahlua, and espresso coffee. And as you see, the Excellent. drink. Now, I'm very I uh, love a good cocktail, and I know that when I go to the cocktail bars, you've got these guys throwing up in the air. What's the difference between yourself and a, a, a flare? Is that what it's called? A flare. flare yes, that's correct. Well, flare, flare is for more entertainment and show. Okay, yeah. It's very entertaining, to be honest. We concentrate more on making a good quality of drink. <laughs> now, do you think cocktails become more famous because of shows like, you know, Sex in the City and things like that? It does, it does. It's all about uh, advertisement, you know. Uh, like, uh, Cosmopolitan wasn't that uh, famous till Sex in the City in the 90s, which has become very, very famous. Of people, course. Ladies loved it, so. And, you know, how do people become a mixologist? You know, you people work in the bar, but what's... Because it's also quite specialist, isn't it? You know? it? Well, anyone probably can make a drink. Um, it's also about mixing the right flavours together. That's how you become a mixologist. So Brilliant. it's it's quite a tense job, like you know, to get different flavors, herbs, and food together. Excellent. So, now I really want a taste of this. Is that okay? Of course. Here you go. It's a level taste. And again, if you just have a little run through of what was involved, whilst I have a taste of this, just talk us through exactly what you did there. So I see we're going to be making this at home. Yeah, sure. So well, just a run through. You need vodka as a your main based um, uh, spirit, Kahlua as a coffee liqueur, and espresso coffee. Easy, simple. You put. Put it all in a uh, porcelain shaker, shake it very well in a martini glass, very simple. I have to say, I'm not a big fan of coffee, but this tastes absolutely delicious. I have to say, it's really good and it's a nice little frome, uh, it's got fluff on top, so it's great. You now, what's careful. your favourite cocktail? That My favourite cocktail is a margarita. Is a margarita? I love tequila, so... <laughs> Brilliant, well, thank you very much for that. And final question, so... Do you think that um, kind of everyone who wants to get into bar should get into mixology, or would you reckon the flair? Well, they... as I said before, it's it's different different things. You know, if you want to do a quality drink, if you want to people love your drinks, you go to mixologist. If you want to do a show, people love your show and wishes to get lots of tips for it, which is you know, people go for a flair. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. Well, you never know. Well, thank you very much, Johnny, and you'll be coming along later on to make another cocktail. Yeah. Now that we're back in the kitchen with our cocktail mixologist Mo Zayat again. Yes, Mo, thanks very much for joining us again. Now, you demonstrated yeah. an espresso martini. Very nice indeed. You haven't tried it yet, have you? No, I'm going Delicious. to later. But I'm very excited about this next cocktail. Is it a Solero? Is that correct? Solero, yeah, that's Solero. correct. Well, would you like to start making it for us? Because I cannot wait to try this one. So, of course. And if you just talk us through what we need and everything. Is obviously... it a Solero and ice lolly? Yeah, yeah, but it wasn't named after it, though. It wasn't named no. after it. No. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. That's a shame. I like okay. that. For the, <laughs> for the, yeah, other lollies are available. Right. For the Soleros, <laughs> what we need is um, fresh raspberries and fresh basil, uh, fresh lime, apple juice, pineapple juice, uh, vodka, uh, uh, raspberry liqueur, and uh, sugar syrup. 
Again, everything you can buy in the shops. Of course, Easy. yes. Easy, loving it. Yeah, have you got most of those things at home? I, um, I don't have the liqueur actually. Don't you? Okay. That is good. And you, can you can you make the um, syrup yourself at home? Yes, you can make it at home. All you need two bars of sugar and one bar of water and mix it pretty okay. good. And it'll be all right. Even I can do. Okay, so well, we'll start see. with a with a basil. We need about um, six leaves. You don't want to go heavy in basil, as we all know, it's quite a strong flavour mm -hmm. for herbs. We uh, use eight of um, fresh raspberries. Be precise. Yeah, very precise. Yeah. <laughs> it always depends how big the raspberries are. I yeah, I suppose so. so. Looking very colourful already. Yeah. We need um, a juice of half a lime. Just half. You making note of this? I am making it. I've got Good. a photographic memory. <laughs> I'll give you the recipe later. I haven't on. really. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, can we get the vi we can get the recipes on the website, right? I think we can. Yes. yes Apparently of so. Um, we need uh, forty ml of uh, pineapple juice. 40 minutes, excellent. Yeah. It's very uh, summery, isn't it, this drink? Yeah, it's very summery. It was created in the summer when we were creating a new cocktail list for our restaurant. Ah. And another 40 ml of the apple juice. So, 40 ml, 40 okay, ml. Yeah. Got it. Uh, you need a 50 ml of vodka. So that's two normal shots, is it? Pretty much, yes, okay. correct. Uh, 25 ml of the raspberry liqueur. So that liqueur is really tasty, isn't it? Yeah, really, really good. It's looking pretty easy so far to make. I think I could just about manage it. And then obviously just, just the last thing to go in, yeah? There's a sugar syrup, which is used uh, 15 mil. Oh, just a little bit. So 15 mil of that. I like the way it just all sort of all goes in together, because there are cocktails, aren't there, where you have to put different yeah. things in at different times and back to spoons and layer them up, and that's always a bit complicated for me. Well, this is the easiest stuff you can do, you know? Yeah. I'm going to, to a pro as well. Well, yeah, I suppose that's like, right, yeah. <laughs> Right, so what's next? We, uh, when you smash them together. Okay. Ooh. Well, that's when it doesn't look so good, does it? <laughs> yeah, no, but it's, I like the, like the little bits of lumps the... and that Oh, yeah, kind of you get stuff. a little bit yeah, of yeah. raspberries coming out. Mm. It's looking really good. You can smell it as well, because the lime. Okay, yeah, yeah. It smells really good. Fresh as well. Mm. There you go. It's definitely something you want in the, uh, in the winter to warm yeah. yourself up. Yummy, right. And then you mix so, it. pour it in. Is this when we shake? Exactly. Okay. Nice. You had the ice already in the in the other half of the, of yes. the shaker, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, okay. Just to get the other shaker cold was uh, a brew with a cooling the drinks a bit more. Okay, Excellent. and then a glass full of ice. Always have well. a yeah, nice and chilled. And then just pour. Wow. Yeah, the colour is fantastic, isn't it? That looks so unbelievably good. And it does look a bit like a Solero. It does actually, a little doesn't bit. it? The raspberry Solero, obviously. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and to finish off, look at that. It's all about the garnish for the cocktails. That's what I love about cocktails. They always finish off so nicely. And it's good enough to eat. It's two straws, one for each few. Oh, that is oh, fantastic. That look at that. Right. Look at that, right. I'm going to have a little wee little I think you should start, because it looks so beautiful, just it like does. you, Frankie. Oh, thanks. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> right, that'll do now. I want to go. All right. All right. That is delicious. So, can you just Smell run through again? I've so, got yeah, involved. what we need, we need um, fresh basil, fresh raspberries, uh, fresh lime juice, oh, pineapple juice and apple juice, uh, sugar syrup, raspberry okay. liqueur mm. and a vodka. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining oh. us. And maybe we should try our own bar. We no, could try a red bar. You make them and I'll drink them if they take anything that tastes anything like this. I'll be like Tom Cruise in cocktail. A little bit taller, though. Yeah, a little bit taller <laughs> and not so rich or successful. But yeah, apart exactly. from that... <laughs>